What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. In the last episode, we went to Clanker's Cavern and did a lot of swimming, found plenty of jiggies, of course, and unlocked this new area, which looks quite cool. We've got Gruntilda here, pointing to two different directions, and we unlocked Bubble Gloop Swamp. Now, I actually don't remember which way is Bubble Gloop Swamp. I think it's this way, and from the abundance of green we saw around Bubble Gloop Swamp before, I think all of the green over here is a good sign. First, though, aha, I figured there would be something behind Gruntilda. My lazy sister often sleeps in a dumpster, the dirty hag. Oof, that's not too great for getting a good night of sleep. The only thing she's ever won was the sweatiest socks competition at witch school. Well, I don't know, it's not exactly uh, quite the accolade, but she often boasts of appearing on the cover of Fat Hag Monthly, sitting on her broomstick. Okay. Um, can't say I'd be proud of those things, but hey, more power to Gruntilda, right? Okay, so we got this little log we can walk through now. We've got an enemy. Take you out pretty quickly, and let me take a look. Ah, yes, we are in the correct place. There's Bubble Gloop Swamp over there. We've got some feathers down there. Interesting. However, there are a couple of areas we can explore to the side here that I want to take a look at first. Oh! Another Bruntilda. My fat old sister's favorite sport is loogie flicking. Ew. You side with Banjo, but change tack. Imagine you on Grunty's back. Hmm? I don't really get that diss, but although she's dim, she attended St. Dungball's school. You won't believe that Gruntilda's party trick is eating a bucket of beans. <laughs> That's... Not that bad, I don't think? <laughs> I don't know. Compared to some of the other bits of trivia we've gotten, that doesn't seem too intense. Hey, keep your feet out. You can't use us until you've spoken to Bottles. Ah, yes. So we'll be back for that eventually. In the meantime, we're going to take in all of this green. And of course, the changed Gruntilda's Lair theme. I love that it's obviously still the same core, you know, theme but it changes bit by bit as we explore more things. Oh, you can see there's an area over there we need to get to. Otherwise, let's head on into Bubble Gloop Swamp. I don't think there's a whole lot more to explore. Keep your eyes open for your new move, beak face. <laughs> Already coming out with the, the insults. And right off the bat, I see back here, we've got our new move. <clears throat> These are the wading boots. Chicken Legs wears them so you can safely wade through dangerous areas like the swamp for a limited time. Okay, Chicken, er, Kazooie, let's go grab a pair. <laughs> Great. Now you know all the swamp's new moves. Oh, so that was... that was pretty quick. Again, I'll let you guys enjoy the music for a moment. Yummy! Croc just liked that. <laughs> that. Reminds me of the meme where it's like, everybody liked that. Me want yummy egg too. You can start to see how great this environment is gonna be. Um, anything else over here? I don't think so. We can climb up this pole, see if there's anything up here. Ah, just some feathers. Nothing exceptional. However, this is a nice vantage point. So we can take a look around. Nothing more over there. Alright, and look at this. Oh, we got a Jinjo over there, and uh, look at that Mumbo token just hiding there. I'm excited to get into this. I love that, even though it's obviously abundantly green in this level, <laughs> also, enjoy this music for a moment. <laughs> it's so great. It's so derpy. Gotta love it. So, I want. I don't want to get too far. Alright, well that didn't really work as planned, <laughs> and that was pretty odd, but um, yeah, so we can enter obviously that swampy area with those boots and not take any damage, which is really nice. And the music is great too. But what I was saying is, despite how overwhelmingly green this level is, oof. This is piranha water. Keep your smelly feet out. I'll do my best, I'm sorry. They're all like these different shades of green and they come together in different ways to create a really, like, saturated, but still vibrant and well-differentiated environment. Not to mention, I mean, I like green. 
I mentioned before that yellow is my favorite color, but... Um, oh, there are just some feathers over there, and whoa, look at... Look at that friend over there. We got a turtle waiting for us, and is that something under there? Okay, no, it's just an invincibility feather. Let's hit this. Ah, so there's a Jiggy that shows up there. If I recall correctly... Ah, yes, there's the timer. So we don't have all day to get that. So we're gonna try to speed on over as fast as we can. Obviously trying to pick up the musical notes along the way. However, we could always just come back. I shouldn't have jumped there. <laughs> Later on. Because we inevitably will... No! To fall all the way at the end there. Oof, that's rough. Alright, well, in the meantime then, I guess. Oh, I need to Talon Trot. Interesting. So we can always get some health there. In the meantime, we'll get all the collectibles and stuff. So we gotta feed this guy. Nice. And now he's over there by all those huts. Interesting. Okay. And the timer runs out. Oof. I'll be young and tooty old before you get Gruntilda's gold. It's interesting. And then show like the image of the shattering Jiggy. Probably don't need all of those eggs. So I'm not too worried about not getting some of them. And now we'll be able to take safer routes through the platforming if we get all this stuff early. So we've already got the green and yellow Jinjo, is my favorite. Come on. No, I did it again! Darn it. I should have gone out of the talent trots. Then I'd have a little bit more aerial mobility. Alright, let's do this now. I swear I'm good at games, guys. <laughs> I swear. What? No! He says as he falls in the swamp again. Oh no, we're gonna fall in it again, too. Come on, come on. <laughs> Oof. It's not looking good for your boy. <laughs> he says, I promise I'm good at games. I promise. Immediately breaks that trust. Okay. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Nice. <laughs> so we exited the talent trot and didn't worry about this little narrow area. And we've obtained our first Jiggy from Bubble Gloop Swamp. Which is awesome. Let's get this before we fall off of that too. And I don't think there's anything more for us to find up here. So I think we can just head back down. Although, I will say, before we move on, I'm gonna go up here and get... The camera like, sharply changes there. I swear, it wasn't just me last time. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll pick this up. So we can get some of our health back. We are missing quite a bit of it. Now, where do we want to go next? Those areas over there look exciting with that crocodile thing, but I think first I'm going to want to get over this way and just kind of clear it from the map. So we've got a few frogs here that we can fight with. We're doing fine. There's an egg. Any mumbo tokens or anything in here? No? Okay. So what do we have over here? We've got an egg with an extra life on it and, of course, a mumbo token. And it looks like we're going to need the boots to wait and get those notes. So we might as well do that now and then while we're doing that, kind of scout out the area. Come on, jump out! <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, oh, what can you do? <laughs> The long legs, the really long stride. Oh no, we're almost out of time. Did we get all the notes? We did, okay. Whew. So I'm glad we got out of there in time. It looks like we can jump up here <clears throat> on top of this. We can get that extra life, which again, isn't really gonna matter, but hey, <laughs> it's all right. What? There we go. Okay, now that's over here, so we can hit it that way. And then let's jump back up on top of this. And then the last one is here. Oh, they probably want me to do this attack. Yep. And then... There we go. So hidden inside all the shells of that egg, we find ourselves another Jiggy. Okay. And now I've got to wait patiently for this leaf to come back. We can climb up here, get ourselves a mumbo token. And then I think we should be able to make it all the way over here. Awesome. Cool, so we cleared that area. And now we can continue onward. Where do we want to go next? 
Well, looks like we don't really have much of a choice. We can go over here. Err. <laughs> An ugly, hairy trespasser. He's after our gold. But he'll never beat us all. Oh. So it looks like we've got um, a fight um, on our hands. Unsurprisingly. I like how these frogs look. Oh, interesting. Do they take multiple hits? Yeah, they do. I thought it like my attack wasn't effective and I'd have to do something differently. I think the uh, the pro strategy is to just what is it again? Yeah, go invincible and just obliterate these frogs. Did I miss this one? I did. Okay. <laughs> Blub, you're tough. You're too tough for us, Flibbits. Take our gold. It is pretty cool that they at least use like the gold frogs, right? Um, <laughs> but. Yeah, I really like the design of those frogs, just because black and yellow is one of my favorite color schemes. So, let's go over this way first. We got some interesting looking stuff going on there. We already explored that. Yeah, so we'll, we'll head over here for now, see what we find. Anything in the swamp we need to wade for? Just some feathers so far, so I'm not too concerned yet. Ooh, my feet are so numb and cold. Ah, I know what'll help out with that. <laughs> ah, that's a bit better. I remember the first time I did this, I was like, wait, what? That helps? <laughs> Especially given the sound effect he makes, it sounds so painful. <laughs> Enjoy listening to it one more time, guys. <laughs> and of course, mm, tank tops warm at last. Perhaps you'd like this. And so it seems like he was stuck. Or his legs were stuck, or his flippers were stuck, and now we can travel inside his mouth, I guess? Ah, yes, I do remember this. So we've got some notes to collect, probably on both sides. We've got some frogs, not frogs, turtles, chilling here waiting for us, too. Quiet, please. The famous Tipped Up Choir will now perform my latest work. So it's really funny. Um, bit short, isn't it, Shell Boy? <laughs> we'll see. Copy what you just heard for lesson one. Yeah, so this is a little bit of like a memorization game. I always just found it so funny that all this is going on inside this turtle. Like, like we look around. And there's this whole... Oh, I didn't even realize that was there. I'm gonna... I, I'm gonna have to get that. But there's like a projector, this whole choir going on inside this turtle shell. It's like the funniest thing. Alright, let's pay attention to what's actually happening. So that should be the first one. Hmm, not too bad. Try lesson two. Ooh, that was actually a uh, pretty tough one, because it involved so much of the same set of turtles. I normally like to try to remember these things by kind of like drawing a path through all the different turtles. Ah, uh, splendid. You just need one more lesson. Okay, let's see. That used a lot of the same things that made the uh, the previous one difficult. Oops. And then I think this one again. And then this one. And now we go straight over to this one. There we go. All right. Magnificent, a true masterpiece. Here, take this trinket I found earlier. All right, and the choir continues. Oh, and there's, look at that, the camera hiding another mumbo token back there. I never would have gone back there because I just saw all the eggs, but so much hidden in this place. Sorry, there is nothing more I can teach you. Don't worry, <laughs> we'll be back eventually. Oh, can I not, how do I, how do I get up there? 
Oh, I, I moved wrong. There we go. Okay. So, we're out of here. <laughs> thanks for the gold. Thanks for the mumbo token. Thanks for the honeycomb. Thanks for the music lesson. But, um, we're out of here. So, I don't think... Oh, there's the Jinjo. And then there's that dragonfly. I don't know if that actually has much significance. Ooh, we almost... We almost ended up in the uh, the swamp water there. So we'll get this Jinjo. I think this is just an enemy. Like, I don't think that's actually very meaningful. Well, if it is, we'll find out eventually, right? <laughs> okay, so where do we want to go next? We can go that way, or we can go this way. I think we'll go that way next. <laughs> Um, but for now, we'll stick with this. What? Oh, I didn't make the jump. Rip. Ooh, so there's quite a bit hidden under there that we'll need to wade through when we eventually get our way with the boots. But for now, we've got some jumping on these huts. And of course, they may remind you of, or rather they should remind you of the huts from Mumbo's Mountain. And if they do, you successfully remember, you'll find yourself climbing this path up here. And there's the grunty switch. All right, let's get the notes without falling off, because that would not be ideal. <laughs> ah, so that gets rid of the top of her hat, and that will provide an access way for that Jiggy that we saw imprisoned within her there. Where are we trying to jump with this? Uh, up here? Yeah. All right, up we go. And there's our little... Oh, no, I ruined it! Or did I? Can I still get it? Let's see. Yeah, I can. In between those two. There we go. Alright, let's feed this person. He's got red eyes this time. Wow. Still hungry, I guess. <laughs> okay, and then I think there's one last hut over here. Yeah. And this is probably the one with the jiggy. Awesome. Good cool. hook. Now I need to keep an eye out for the extra honeycomb pieces. I'm looking up at the ceiling because I wanted to make sure that there wasn't one on top of the hut there that I had already, you know, ruined my chances of getting. <laughs> and I'm surprised there were no boots back here. Let's see here. There's probably some, like, hidden down here somewhere. There they are. I was gonna say, how else are we gonna collect all this? Wait, can I not? Hello? Can I not? This, I'm fairly confident I'm supposed to be able to get under there. Hmm, well this is about to be bad. Okay, we're, we're surviving, um, so I guess that's something. Do I have to use my feathers to get those? Let's see here. No, I guess not. Alright, stop, stop! Take the damage, and run! So how am I supposed to get those? I swear you can get those with the boots. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I remember. I remember. And you cannot get those with the boots take that extra life, because we're actually taking a decent amount of damage this time around. Okay. Alright, now we've got a new area to explore. That has this large crocodile looking thing over here. Is there something over there? Nope, just eggs. So we can climb up here. This at least doesn't seem to be, you know, alive and staring us down as we walk up it like Clanker was. <laughs> that was quite the experience. Can I climb up this? I've got to be able to, right? It looks so climbable. And there are boots up there. They've got to expect me to get up there. Right? Oh well. Let's see, I think we're in need of some health. Yeah, so we'll, we'll pick that up. It should be good. We got these flies here, giving us a hard time. Oh, and we got a whole area over there. Let's um, let's explore that first, actually. I know we're up here, obviously, but 
I want to check that out first. Can I get up here? Come on. Oh, man. I really want to get up there. Just to almost, you know, show that I can. All right. Are you finally satisfied? No, you're still hungry? What? Okay, and so that's back by the turtle, so we'll need to remember to go there eventually. Let's climb up these and see what we can find. All right, we just got some eggs up here. We got some feathers over there. Anything more of interest? I'm waiting on where that that last honeycomb piece is, because I genuinely don't remember <laughs> at all. For either of them in this place. And that other one was pretty well hidden, so it's got me a little concerned. Come on. There we go. So we'll need our boots, or will we? Oh, we still need to get another Jinjo, too. It's probably hidden in the swamp there somewhere. Okay, now we can head over back to that area we were climbing up before. Can enjoy the music for a little bit. Let's get some Talon Trot going. Pick up the speed. Alright. We've only got limited time where you can use this. Don't miss the notes. Don't miss the notes! I'm gonna run out of time. Oh boy. I was literally just about to say, okay, I can't afford to miss notes because I only have a little bit of time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't die, don't die. Jump! Ugh. We're gonna take a bit of damage. Yes, we are. Okay, but we managed to get to the next pair of boots relatively unscathed. We only took one little bit of damage. So, not too awful. Just like moderately awful. <laughs> okay, and we made it. Awesome. Interesting. So there's a jiggy puzzle thing here, and we've got that little continuation there, but we still have a bit to go there. Let's, let's see what this leads to first. So we have a time limit to get there, presumably. A short time limit. Ten seconds. That is a very short time limit, but I think we'll be fine. Nice. And the thing is, if you fall there... Look at that. You're going to be in the swamp for quite a bit. So let's let's hope we don't fall now after just saying that. <laughs> We're at max number of eggs. Lovely. Let's get our big boots on. 83, 84 notes. Oh, look at the Mumbo token there behind Mumbo's hut. <laughs> it's so well hidden. Was there really not a Jinjo there? Hmm. Is there really not a Jinjo? I swear there should have been. No, I, I, I can't say that with confidence. I'm surprised there isn't one, is a better way to put it. Maybe it's in Mumbo's hut. Be an interesting place to hide it. We need 10 Mumbo tokens. Guys, do you think we have enough? <laughs> There's another one. Can I jump up here? I can. Anything of interest, though? Or just feathers? Ah! There it is. There it is. So we don't need to worry about that anymore. That's a uh, sneaky. Is there a Jinjo up here too? Jinjo, Jinjo, Jinjo? No, it appears not. Looks like I just um, missed that one. <laughs> so we'll have to go back and find that. Oh wait, no, that's the one that we couldn't get with the wading boots before. I see, I see. Ah, you find big hidden feature spell. Mumbo turn Banjo into T-Rex. Crush witch easy. <laughs> I love this. So we're gonna turn into a T-Rex and Hmm... That didn't quite happen. Changed mind. T-Rex spell too good for this game. <laughs> Mumbo keep for next game. I find that so funny. I don't even remember if that was in the original. But that's hilarious. And I haven't played enough of 2E to know if that actually happens. But it probably does. Wait, Mumbo need new boots! Only kidding. Okay. So we're this cute little crocodile thing. It's adorable, isn't it? So we can exit through here, which is nice. And now we are very low to the ground, and importantly, 
we don't mind the swamp water, which is awesome. So now, we can very, very slowly walk through all the swamp water and collect everything we couldn't before. At least the sound effects whenever Banjo transforms into something, whether it's a crocodile or termite, the sound effects of jumping are always a pleasure. And I love that that's the sound effect for attacking. So we only need 10 more notes and I think a couple more jiggies. There's the one from... Oh, I should have gotten that before we did this. Darn. Because we can do this, where we actually go in this nostril, and we're going to find more notes. But what's a bummer is that, um, unfortunately, we're going to have to go all the way back up to Mumbo if, to transform back so we can get that one, I think it's like Croctus or something like that. Last Jiggy. Feed it one last time. However, we got this red crocodile here. Her, her, her. I'm Mr. Vile, greediest croc of all. Play my game to win a prize. Press A to accept, or B to chicken out. Oh, we'll accept your challenge. Game is simple. Eat more red yumblies than me. Press X to eat yumblies. Yumblies, ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. So this is a very legitimate mini game. Um, it's quite a bit of fun. Whenever I think of the Crocs, and I mean, obviously given the design, I don't know if you guys can tell from the faces, uh, it reminds me of like the Donkey Kong Country Crocs, and then from the animated series for Donkey Kong Country. I don't know if you guys remember like Donkey Kong Country and the Crystal Coconut. Uh, whenever I hear Croc, especially associated with these faces, those are the types of Crocs that I think of. So, there are a couple things to note about this, I guess. I'm not trying to run away with the score here because rubber banding is a very real thing in this game. And for those of you that aren't familiar with the term, that means that the farther I get ahead, the stronger he's going to get, or the faster he's going to catch up to me. So if you get like super far ahead, he, the speed with which he moves around and eats up the Yumblies is going to get like super, super fast. Kind of like Mario Kart 64 with those computers. They can move like way faster than any player can, but grr, you only win easy game. Now we play harder game. Eat reds, avoid yellow grumblies. They not ripe. Ready? <laughs> so here we go. Very similar, but of course you don't want to get the, the reds. We should just like hang out by him. And so, watch, I guess if we just get like a whole bunch of these, look at this lead we have. See how much faster he's moving now? So he can go around and catch up to us, basically, and then you'll see him start to slow down a little bit. And if he's in the lead, look how much more, like, less, or how much less aggressively he actually goes around to pick up the, the Yumblies. Okay, I guess I should start actually trying to eat Yumblies now. It's such a funny name, too, the Yumblies. They look like little worms. You can just steal whichever ones he's going to get. It's actually a really funny strategy. It seemed to be working decently. Although now he's catching up. He's catching up. Ooh, that was a big one. That allowed us to take the lead and keep him from catching up. All right, we're good. I don't remember what the penalty is for the yellow yumblies. I think you might lose one or what, but... Bah! Lucky Greedy wins. Must play last game. Only eat what is shown at top of screen. Ready? Three, two, one. So... At the top of the screen, they're going to show, oh, red yumblies. So eat the red yumblies, and then occasionally it'll switch to yellow yumblies. So you just need to be a little bit more attentive. It's not a huge deal. Yellow! Aw, and it ran away just as we did that. Wait, he's already at five? Uh-oh. <laughs> so I gotta, I gotta get going. I don't remember if you have to redo all three rounds if you lose one of them. I hope not. That would be a lot. Switch. There we go. So we have taken the lead, and we're tied. Oof, that was a big one. What? Did that, like, count for both of us? Somebody rewind that and watch, because I swear that we both had our scores go up by one there. Darn it, he's in the lead right now. And it's gonna switch. Nice. Come on, come on. Oh, no, no, no. Switch, 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 switch. 
Yes! Oh! <laughs> Did you guys like that photo finish? That was so clutch. Mr. Vile never lost before. Greenie can have prize. That was actually awesome, guys. If you didn't see that, if you weren't paying attention, please check it out. Mr. Vile now has tougher challenge if Greenie not scared. You must win next three games to win three extra lives. But each time Greenie loses, Mr. Vile chomps you for one life. Press A to accept or B to slide off like a slug. Oh, we're sliding off like a slug. Mr. Vile is baddest croc of all. <laughs> Look, everyone. Greenie is scurrying off. You'll also notice these little shoes here. We'll, we'll get to that eventually. But yeah, we successfully got that. And now I think there are just two more Jiggies left. There's the last Jinjo. And then that one, I think, Croctus. And then I think we're good. So that's always a, a fun little mini game. I love like the personality that Rare gives to all of its characters. So where are we going? Over here. Yes, this is where it was. But yeah, the rubber banding can be pretty insane. Where he just like speeds up and then gets like super good all of a sudden. Wow, camera is um, killing it. <laughs> you found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. We picked up a couple more mumbo tokens. We're obviously, given that we only needed 10 for this particular level, doing quite well in that regard. And now I think there's just this last Jinjo here. Nice. I wish they had a little bit of like a jingle or a little dance you could do as the transformed banjo. It would be nice. Cause like how cute would it be? Like, I mean this crocodile is, as is, is super cute, right? And how much cuter would it be if it did a little dance? It would be so nice. Alright, so now we gotta go transform back. I don't think we need to be the crocodile outside of Bubble Gloop Swamp, which would be annoying. So, if you recall from the Mumbo's Mountain level, we needed to be a termite outside of the level in order to get that jiggy that we got from the Grunty Switch. I don't know if we need to do that with one of the with the crocodile. It would be a shame if we had to because I'm going to transform back here. And I guess also Something worth noting is that the transformations are one-time prices, so we don't need to pay the 10 tokens again if we wanted to. Alright, can I... Can I transform back? Lovely. Okay, we have successfully returned to barren bird form. And I think we're gonna need... Yeah, because we're not gonna be able to get out this way anymore, are we? We're actually gonna have to go back the long way. Anything in... Mumbo's eye sockets? Nope. Okay. What a phrase. Back through the maze we go. This will be my redemption. We won't take any damage. I know you're already commenting, but you don't even have notes to collect. Actually, we're just gonna go this way. Get some fresh boots. And not deal with the whole lab labyrinth-like structure of, of the maze there. And make it back. Nice. I'm still curious though. Why can't I? Why haven't I been able to get up on this? Come on. There we go. All right. Now I don't actually want to wear the boots, but I'm glad for the sake of just showing we could. We were able to get up there. Okay. And finally, over here, we have this dragonfly. It's gonna give us a tough time. Oh, I didn't even realize Croctus could damage us. This, like, dragonfly is not even attacking us. What? How did that miss? You know what? Whatever. Oh, that was interesting. I swear, if something bad happens this far along in the level. Alright, we finally fed Croctus enough. He's satisfied. And we have our final Jiggy of this level. It's so funny, whenever you do the, like, sort of ground pound attack, things like Beat Buster or something, into the ground as you get a Jiggy, it still does that sound effect, like you hit the ground, although you obviously start the little jingle before you even have the chance to touch the ground. Alright, and just like that, we have completed Bubble Gloop Swamp, which is awesome. 
like I said, I didn't really remember a whole lot of this level, so it was pretty cool to re-explore it and re-experience a whole bunch of the Jiggies. Again, I love the design of this level and all the characters, all the bright greens, and the transformation of the little crocodile is great. And it's pretty cool that we learned how to use these boots as well. We'll pick up that health before we go, because I know we're short one honeycomb, I believe. And the music is lovely, too. Oh, we're short a couple honeycombs. <laughs> That's right, I struggled a lot more than I'm, uh, for, I guess, admitting. <laughs> Alright, so out we go. And we can explore that area over there. Are there boots here? I thought there were boots here. Hmm. So maybe we do have to be the crocodile for that. And were the dragonflies here before? I don't remember. Either way, I mean, we'll, we'll be alright. I guess we can try to make a mad dash for that area after getting the boots here. See if it'll work. It might. We'll try our best. Come on, Kazooie, run! Run, 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 run! <laughs> it's just so funny. Look at Banjo's face as he's just riding on Kazooie's back. Right? It's like super carefree lax as Kazooie's doing all this work. Oh, man. We're gonna run out of time. We're gonna run out of time. It's so close. I'm surprised. Whoa, we actually made it. I am genuinely very shocked that we made it all that way during that time period. But now, oof, I love this music, the Gruntilda's Lair, Freeze Easy Peak remix. So let's take a look at this. We've got more than enough puzzle pieces for, of course, Freeze Easy Peak. Got a big snowman there, this is our ice, our winter level. I even love that part, like the entrance is based off of an advent calendar, at least I'm pretty sure it is. It's just such a cool design. Alright, let's take a look at what's going on up here. We've got this ice boulder. We can break. Does this give us anything? I don't actually remember. Can we find something up here? No? Just just the gold feather? Alright, well, that's a little anticlimactic. I mean, we'll take it, right? <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. But it is admittedly anticlimactic. Anything over this way? Nope. Okay, so it's really just this place exists for the sake of that portrait with the Jiggies. Which isn't bad. It's a cool area, you get to experience that music. And of course, one of the things that's great about this game is that when you finally do discover a new area... Oops, Gruntilda's interrupting. I'm still here, I watch you play. But I can't think of much to say. <laughs> well, sounds like you thought of something, right? Um, but one of the joys of this game is really being able to explore and then finally finding one of those new pictures and experiencing, you know, the change in the environment as you get there. And then, of course, the change in music, too. It's just such a fun little discovery. Okay, so we've cleared out that area. I'd imagine our next step is going to be checking out that area over there. Oops, don't, don't fall into the piranha waters. That would be less than ideal. So I guess now we'll head over here. Again, it's cool that you kind of get to explore Gruntilla's Lair and sequentially unlock more and more areas of it. And we need 260 notes for this door. I think we're good. <laughs> just, uh, just barely made it to that limit, right? Ooh, so we've got a lot going on here. This area looks really cool. You can see the sort of like Egyptian vibe going on. And we've got a new area that way. We've got this vase in the middle, a coffin over there, and then a staircase. A wall we can maybe break down quite a bit to explore. And I'm pretty excited to check it out. I hope you guys are too. But that will, of course, be in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Bubble Gloop Swamp, definitely a great level. Honestly, all the levels of this game are great. Um, it's just some are not quite as great as others. But Bubble Gloop Swamp, solid level. Love Crocodile Banjo. And I hope you guys had a good time. But also, <laughs> this walk with Banjo is so funny. I couldn't help but laugh after the last episode. But until the next episode, this is Night Zero. And this mission is complete. This is so funny, guys. I'm sorry.